Welcome back. Hola. Welcome. So, uh, Soren is yes. about to attempt to pick Rand's <coughs> Uh, I assume that you're going after... Yeah. I am. Peace. Okay. Which, of course, Rand being Rand, just, he just stuck this incredibly magical object just into his pocket. Which is why I'm <laughs> taking it from him. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to cast a Zone of Truth around this one right here. Zone of Truth has a radius of about 15 feet. 15 feet, so that'll cover a lot of the patrons or like uh, uh, patrons of the bar. Uh, I wonder how the bartender is going to think about, or the owner, if he, if we'll he's, see. Uh, we'll yeah. That, let's see how this goes. We might need more dice. Before guys. you do that, this is going to take place. So roll your sleight of hand, which you may already have. It's an eight plus. 10, so 18. 18 versus... But, what's your perception in general? Uh, I can call 10, and I have plus 15. Plus 15, so I want to use a luck point. Okay. I also have luck points, you know. <laughs> luck is good. No, wait, we haven't rested yet. I have. I can meditate. Did you, though, because you followed yes, him down yes, just I a few that. moments... You followed him down, though. I like, thought yeah. he got back. When did we not do that? We never rested. I, I so. did. We did rest. He went I down. meditated. He went down right after you guys got there. Yeah. And you said you followed yeah. him down just a she, moment after. She was going to stay and meditate okay. while he was down there drinking. And you went down a few minutes after he went down. And he's been at the bar for... Four hours. Three hours, yeah. yeah. Could I not have used that time for meditation as well? Like but in, you didn't. You were buying bar you went steaks. down to keep right, an eye on like sitting in the bar? Yeah, sure. It's gonna be really fucking brave to walk up on somebody who looks like me. Uh. Wait, don't you have like a tattoo? Or yeah. yeah. <laughs> I look like a genuine psychopath. <laughs> what is your to passive? Fair, you perception? A passive is 18. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay. So you are okay meditating. You're meditating at the bar. Right. Is that okay? Kind of like zoning out. It's like I want to get drunk. I can't. Yeah. I feel okay. like. So what did you roll? Is that okay with you, Dick? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 28. 28. Okay. Way to go, Dave. <laughs> what is your perception roll? In Barks as well at disadvantage. Barks at disadvantage is. Which I think that he has advantage on. That's for smell. Yeah, it had to be something scent. Right. Got it. Okay. So his is five. He doesn't have yeah, okay, anything enough. adding to that. Now mine, and I'm assuming I also have disadvantage. No. No? You're okay. used to being drunk. Okay, okay yes. Good. Yeah. Ooh. 17 plus 15 is 32. 32. So, uh, you're, you know, he pats you on the back, and you, have, you feel his hand slip down. To your pocket that is holding the piece of pearl. And my hand immediately snaps down onto his. And at the same time, like, shaking my other one and my wrist dagger falling into my hand because I'm looking the other way and I just snap down, look back. Huh. Sword. Yeah. Buddy, I, I thought you'd do that. Like, you, my dagger's getting uncomfortably close to you, but. Who's I'm not doing it on purpose. Who's uncomfortable? Uh, not doing it on purpose, but I'm just kind of hovering. Uh, I would, I wouldn't have thought it was you if you didn't try to do this, man. I'd like to come over and intervene. You're not the only one with a dagger, first of all. At and this I'm going to speak in very low tones. Okay. Actually, I'll use thieves' camp for the sake of rent. Well, I have hold of one of your hands. It's still something for you. Uh, piece in a bar and you're getting drunk around the people that we're trying not to tell what it is. It doesn't need to be down here. Don't be an idiot. Uh, oh yeah, man. And obviously what? this is the really drunk guy trying to whisper in the yeah. bar. Oh yeah, man. I forgot about that. Shh. <laughs> he said the person who didn't say anything to him. Yeah, I'll, you're right. I'm gonna go sleep. And Rain kind of totters off. 
back upstairs to the bedroom. <laughs> and goes back to sleep, yeah, so calling Barney <coughs> behind him. And Bart picks up the stake and carries it with him. 16. You notice that Farius... Uh, as far as... The, the Bart. Bart, Bart yeah. Yeah. Uh, has been watching... Yeah, Rand just totters off back into the bedroom upstairs, yeah. and sets Bark still on guard while he has a stake. Just the stake is not like beef. It's not. It's unclear. It, it's it tastes decent, but it's not 100 percent clear as to what it is. Cool. <laughs> just so you know. Spark doesn't care. Yeah, I was it about to say, good, like, Spark's like, this is, this is different. Like, yeah. I'm going to get one it's of these good. before we leave. It's good. Very good steak. So you go to bed. You actually go to get up? No, I'm asleep. Yes, I'm done. I'm sleeping. Okay. Cool. That's good. <laughs> We'll say for the sake of time purposes that the night passes uh, relatively uneventfully. Uh, Soren, yes. as you're sitting at the bar still, uh, Farius asks you in Thieves' Cant, uh, what, uh, what is this item? Something of power, none of your concern. I see. I would hate for other people like me to know that we were hindered getting out of here when we need to leave to complete our job. Does Varius know what you're part of? No. Probably not. Okay. But I'm leaning on it real hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I tell him to have a good evening. You too. And of course, the next morning comes. Uh, you don't feel great. Having consumed a lot of exotic alcohols. <laughs> uh, yeah. Give me a percentile roll. Ooh, percentile. Yeah. Percentile roll! This is the right one, right? Yeah. Okay. Twenty-nine. Oh, God. Twenty-nine. Okay. You wake up and find yourself in a... Uh, you find that your, your skin is a nice uh, light green color. And Bart's blue still, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Bark is still blue. Yeah. Find that some something you drank the night before has turned you a curious shade of green. Oh, no, uh, yeah. But, but, but actually, before you react to that, let's back up a little bit because I forgot to, to handle this part. You cast Zone of Truth within the tavern, uh, which is a Wisdom saving throw, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I thought we were moving past that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I, not. I apologize. <laughs> well, we, we should deal with that. But we don't have to. I don't have to cast down the truth. Technically, we, neither we of us lied, lied so... I told the absolute truth. So yeah. Do you want to not do that? Well, the only reason why I would want to do that would be to figure out what... What's-his-face knows. But, I feel like that could be counterproductive to what's going on here because I don't want him to know what we're doing. Okay. So, I'm cool. Good. Fair enough. We'll nix that then. <laughs> and say that you did not do it uh, and move on to the next morning. You want to go so, for it again? So I wake up and I'm green? You wake up and you are green. Let's go. <laughs> <baby>. <laughs> Wait. 
Bart, am, am I still drunk or no, am I Please crazy? ask the dog what I know, you that's are. exactly why I did it. <laughs> you're, you're a different shade of gray. <laughs> Good boy. Go, uh. <laughs> and at, at this point, I'm just so yeah. hungover. I'm just kind of like, fuck it. Yeah. We'll deal with this later. <laughs> Rand, what happened to you? I'm not entirely sure. This isn't the first time I've yeah, woke up in last. a weird situation. Well, uh, you look disgusting. I'm going to cast Seeming so I don't have to look at Rand whoa. as green. <laughs> That's a high level spell. Is, Is it? it? It's like fifth or sixth level spell. <laughs> you waste that much of a spell. <laughs> no, spell I'm on kidding. Me. I don't want to do that. You're on your head. I don't want to do I mean, you can if you want. No, well, it's okay. <laughs> Rain gets up, and obviously he's all disheveled. You're going to cast and, if you want to. <laughs> yeah. So he, Rain, I will waste something and just be like, oh, I get, I'm not getting ready this morning. Disguise self. I look <coughs> prim and proper. Except you're, you're still just, green. I, I'm Except just under an not. illusion for an hour. Yeah. Right. Are you you're like normal... Yeah, I look normal. normal. normal Actually, I, I look a normal skin tone, hair coiffed. Like, I look slightly taller, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. I dig it. Are you attuned to that still? What? Are you attuned to that still? No, I actually cast the spell. I have it. It's one of the spells I can cast. This guy's self. Okay. Yeah. I thought you First had him disguise. No. Okay. No, that's cool. All right. You go down. Uh... If you want to have breakfast, you're more than welcome to. Um, one of the uh, one of the like spider chairs moves up, kind of like sniffs at Bart, mm -hmm. and uh, cuddles up to. It kind of like nuzzles your leg, ran. Makes this little like chittery noise. If, if it had just been the nuzzle, I would have been okay with it. I would have drunkly <laughs> just kind of been like, uh, but if it chitters at me, then I just I kind of kick it away. And I'm still not enough to like actually freak me out at this time yeah. over this. Various. It's like, hey. Go kicking the chairs. Go kicking the chairs. Cool, cool man. Can I have some eggs? <laughs> I am just one. Sure. He's just gonna eat breakfast. I mean, okay. a very small. They light serve breakfast. you a, a plate of uh, what, what looks like fried eggs, but they're kind of like a weird grayish color. Like as long as they're not green, I'd always find. Uh, they're not green. The yolks are kind of a uh, milky white, and the. Uh, the egg white, which is normally white, is kind of a, a, a darkish gray. I think something's wrong with your chicken, is <laughs> man. Or finest eggs. And he like starts eating. eating. And then yeah. he says, Oh no, this is these are our finest spider eggs. And Rand immediately jumps up, <laughs> runs to the this? bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rand jumps up, runs to the bathroom, and you can and the bar can hear him. Retching. Yes. <laughs> so that is how Rand's morning starts. Yes. <laughs> you see a lot of uh, de uh, death elves in there having their morning eggs and, uh, and, and such. And Farius kind of gives you you all a uh, confused look. Is there something? Is he okay? Is he, is he allergic to spider eggs? No, he, he's fine. His eyes get bigger than his stomach. <laughs> I see. Good answer. No, that's, that's, that's understandable. I mean, he just loves them. Uh, it's better if you don't tell him what stuff's made of, though, because you know, he, he's a fast eater. And it just helps him out a lot. I see. And I if see. you were to like make it in some other way and just not tell him, I think he'd be fine. Total understandable. I got you. Actually, could, could we perhaps a great buy a, a few dozen of those eggs? For our trip yeah, back those, home? Yeah, th those preserve well? Like, can we take those with us on our trips? We have rations? Yes. yes. That'd be fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. We'd we appreciate do. that. We do care. <laughs> 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 of course. Of course. Uh, it's, it's 
five silver for one dozen eggs. And how long do they keep? Um, yeah. They obviously keep, keep for longer if you're able to keep them cool, but uh, uh, in sort of room temperature kind of areas, probably three weeks. Um, look, that we'll, is plenty we'll of We'll take four dozen. Okay, it'll be two gold. I'll, I'll definitely pick up this charge. And three. <laughs> <laughs> you have 48 spider eggs. <laughs> yes. They kind of bring it to you in this clutch <laughs> that is actually like webbing. It's kind of <laughs> cool, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> well, I just want to thank him for saving me, like the story he told last night. That's all. <laughs> That's very good. It's very kind of Now, also, I are like these... I take care of my companions. Are these eggs fertilized by chance? No. Do you know where I could get some fertilized spider eggs? Y'all nasty. <laughs> Um, that would be like to a, a, a spider apothecary. breeder. Mm-hmm. Probably would be the best place, right? Um, the apothecary would have some. Okay. Uh, there is a hatchery as well. That was the word I was looking for, not uh, That has, that sort of breeds our, our spiders. Beautiful, thank you. Yes. <laughs> no, no, that is not going to be the word that he uses. Yes, that's where I get all of my chairs. Well, your chairs are just lovely, and I'm thinking that I, I need to redecorate. Right. They are just adorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At this point, Rain stumbles out of the bathroom, wiping his mouth off. Like, Bart, you, okay, before you, oh, yes. Out, yes, have you guys put away the egg clutches? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Just, just checking. Yeah. Huh? Just checking. He just stumbles out, wiping his mouth off. He's like, Bart, come on. We're getting out of here. Guys, if you need to do something, we'll be outside. Oh. Like, he just steps out the door and he's just waiting out. He's, he's not uh... in that fucking place anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he can't deal. Okay. Holy crap, I just realized that the rogue in the player's handbook has the daggers exactly how I imagined Ran wearing his. Like, 15 on his legs. So you have breakfast. We'll say for the sake of just What about question, second breakfast? That I think he, he is a about halfling. second breakfast. All, that, all halfling that, about second breakfast. That the, uh, you have breakfast on the house. Oh. I thought because we had it inside of your the services. House. You did very kind. Because of your services to the town, Alessaria has uh, kind of fronted the money for your breakfast. And in fact, uh, while you're finishing up, and you of course would see her before they do because you're outside. Yeah. Uh, Alessaria approaches the black widow. Ah, <coughs> oh, Rand. Uh, how are you this fine morning? Again, I look perfectly good. Like, I look like yes, I was look, getting ready to go to a banquet. You must have slept quite well. Y yeah. I. <laughs> You're looking a little taller today. Well, well, well thank you. <coughs> I. It's been a very interesting experience in your city. No doubt. No doubt. Are the rest of them inside? Uh, yes, my companions are inside right now. Uh, what did you need to... Did you need to speak with us again about anything? Well, I'm just going to see uh, what your plans were for the rest of the day, uh, or if you were heading out immediately, or... Well, we had planned... We had slightly talked about heading back to Sartak City oh, on... That's quite a journey, though. Well, we actually were going to try to find some form of transportation <coughs> to the city, I believe. 
but uh, we haven't actually completely discussed it. We actually just got done with breakfast. <laughs> oh, how did you like it? They make an excellent egg here. No. <laughs> it was fine. Not really your... Better outfit in, that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not to your taste. It was just different. I have a very delicate constitution. He means power. I see. Well, that's completely fine. It's not for everyone. Uh, at least you were able to try it out. It was quite the experience, ma'am. Well, good. And she kind of moves, moves inside. Moves past you. Yeah, uh, in, inside, and it goes to sit at your. Like, are you guys sitting at the bar, or are you actually sitting at one of the tables with the spider chairs? I'm relaxed back in a spider chair, having a cup of coffee. Yeah, two Not sitting down. Anymore. Like, like uh, two of its eight legs are kind of like swung around and are giving you like a little bit of a massage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, not sitting. Okay, she kind of enters. Kyron is also there. Being quiet as Kyron is. Being quiet as Kyron usually is. So, uh, good morning. Good morning, Alisaria. How are you? Good, good. And she kind of orders a plate of eggs. Uh, <laughs> what are your plans for the day? Are you, are you, are you heading out immediately? Or? Well, I, I very much... Um, one, I'm, I'm very glad that you're here. I was wanting to run by and speak with you about some matters, but I think we're also going to try to find a hatchery. I'd love to have a few of these spiders for my for my house. Okay. Um, typically, they would be purchased already um, trained, but you can purchase the eggs, uh, I guess, directly. Are okay. you... Know how to properly care for and train spiders. Well, I'm quite good with animals being in the natural domain. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, it's uh, several blocks west of here. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Actually, what I wanted to talk with you about, I don't know if I'd mentioned it previously, but part of the reason why I'm on this pilgrimage is because my my community was completely destroyed and I've been kind of searching for some ans answers and was wondering if you might be able to point me in the right direction or if in your many years of experience have uh, a good idea of identifying perhaps who burnt it down. Oh, that was, uh, <coughs> that was answered by the Naga. Already. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Yes. Let's take that back. It was, uh, <laughs> Matthias Greylock. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, never mind. We're good. It's okay. It's been a harrowing <laughs> couple of days for you. Oh, it really has. <laughs> you should have died six times. <laughs> Did I really die six times? It might have been six, but it was more than you two. Were, well, you were, well, you got knocked out like three yeah. times. You knocked out like two or three times. You didn't times. die. That's where all the healing potions went to see you bark and soar. And no. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I just won. Oh, yeah, but still. It's not like, like I died again. I wanted, because uh, you had mentioned in our previous discussions that you were on a pilgrimage. Yes. Uh, to visit the various temples um, here and there. Uh, I wanted to give you uh, a sort of token as proof that you had visited the temple of Chaldea. Oh, well, thank you. And she hands you a, uh, a medallion. Kind of, it's like, it's essentially a holy symbol like yours in terms of its overall shape. Um, and it is, on the front of it, there is a skull that has uh, one dagger in it vertically, hilt up, um, and then, like, the blade goes all the way down to extend beyond the, the draw. And then there are two daggers at angles at the end as well, and it goes all the way through. Sweet. 
Sweet. Yeah. So, 